Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on Jeff Moore and the distance. And we did a little get did did get a little bit contentious in that video. Uh, I encourage you to go back and have a look at it. I'll put a link in the description below. If you want to make a comment about what I've said, feel free. But as I've demonstrated in that video, I try to be respectful. So I encourage you to, to do the same. We're going from there to 1942 in San Francisco, California. Uh, this guy was one of twins. So he was born with another. And he was a son of a pastor. And it was also, uh, his dad was also a bit of an entrepreneur, having a restaurant and a few other bits and places. At the age of 11, he was playing by ear. In fact, um, he didn't really read music, this guy. He just kind of picked up a song and just played it. And that's what made this guy so compelling. The guy we're talking about is Andre Crouch. Now you might be thinking, you know, who's Andre Crouch? Well, um, when it comes to gospel music, this guy's an absolute towering legendary force in this genre and if it wasn't for him many others uh, wouldn't have got their got their starts because he certainly well truly paved the way for gospel music to be a bit of a thing um at the age of 14 uh, he wrote his first gospel song and that would be one of many that he would write through through his life um, he uh, was responsible for urban gospel music, so not the, the gospel music in churches, but this is the music. This is music that was just so organic and just so understood and so real. I suppose that people were just hanging out to hear. Um, he did collaborate with many, many um, artists over the years in the, in the I suppose the non gospel world, including Billy Preston. Now, Billy Preston was part of the Get Back. Uh, sessions with the Beatles so that's pretty pretty amazing uh, we've also then got uh, the iconic Stevie Wonder and uh, Phil Bailey of course Earth Wind and Fire he had a bit of a duet with uh, Phil Collins a little while back as well it was uh, Michael W Smith um, contemporary Christian music royalty that has said it opened up the possibilities um, for uh, for me and for many others to follow him now, when we get on to some music of these stuff, this guy, you've got to remember, um, we're talking 60s, 70s, and so this is how you look back then, but there's something absolutely compelling, first of all, about the way that this guy writes music, the respect that he has got, and so therefore the influence he has had is absolutely where you can't put it into words, you can't quantify it really. Um, and so when you when you watch these clips, just realise that... Um, it, um, gospel music is well and truly at the core of who he is and um, this comes back to a belief that he, that he has got. We talked a little bit about belief last time. It seems to be where we're going a little bit over the next little while. So I've got some songs below. Let's start off with The Promise. Um, this, uh, this particular song is, I suppose, is all about um, the fact that his belief means that he's never alone. Now, I'm just going to expand on this just a little bit and just talk a little bit about my own story, just a little bit here, because I know exactly what this guy means with this song. In fact, it's quite amazing how new life circumstances, a lot of these lyrics that you've been hearing for years, actually take on new meaning. So I had to finish something up that I'd been in for 28 years, uh, back at the beginning of 2022. It had become a bit of a trick and a bit of a challenge, and I actually wasn't for it wasn't very well at all. So I had to make I had to call it as I said. Now at that point, I didn't actually know the house that I was going to be moving into. I didn't know how I was going to go because I had to start again with everything. I had a pretty good job, which was fortunate. Around that time. Um, they increased my hours, so that meant I could actually pay my rent. So after about a four week period, um, I did. Uh, I um, I found a place. Now it's quite amazing because the the real estate agent uh, on the phone said to me, "My head says no, but my heart says yes." You don't get that very much in the commercial world. And I said, "How many applicants were there?" She said, "90." 
<laughs> it's like a job interview, right? <laughs> so um, I came to this new place um, in Glenelg, South Australia. And, you know, I look out my window out there and I can see clouds and I can see ferns, I can see trees, I can see Mount Lofty from my window. It's an absolutely stunning view. And it, when you think about Trevor's happy place, this is it. Um, one of the things that I learned very quickly about having a place of your own is that you have a place where you can be yourself, a place, a sanctuary, I suppose, where you can just be yourself. And because of that, I was never alone. But, but more than that, and I share the same view of Andre Crouchy, I had, I suppose, a God in heaven that was also looking out for me, looking after me. And when in those moments when I was feeling alone and I was feeling by myself, I wasn't. I just really felt him with me. Now, you might be looking, screaming at me through the camera at this point and thinking, hey, how can... You, you're not, you're lying, you are on your own, own right? You're like, you're the only one in the unit. You are absolutely... But you know what, when it comes to, I'm going to stop saying that. <laughs> when it comes to um, what brings us peace, and let's face it, that's what we're all looking for, right? We're looking for that, that inner peace, that inner happiness, that, that smiling that just happens so naturally and organically. It's not going to happen through money, even though money helps. It's not going to happen through friends, even though we absolutely need connection. And, you know, I've met some wonderful people this year. It's, it's going to happen through our spirit, through the thing that gets us up in the morning. You know, we can go off and have counselling sessions, and I've done that, I suppose, and they've been really, really helpful. But at the end of the day, you leave the counselling session, and who has to do the work? Well, you do. I do. And so... My spiritual world has enabled me to, to do that and to, to feel pretty comfortable with myself right now. And I think um, in Andre, Crom Andre Crouch's song, The Promise, he talks about the fact that he's never alone. And I, and I think um, I can certainly, I think, agree with him on that, that, you know, God actually does step up the intimacy with you because that's what he wants, because he loves me. And, you know... I don't have to be concerned about the fact that I'm struggling a little bit and all the rest of it. He loves me and that's all that matters. And so, yeah, again, I'm just sharing my story with you. I'm not saying anything more than that, just to say that, you know, it is possible to not be on your own, even though you are. So the promise came off the the album, The Journey in... in um, and so what we've actually got is we've actually got a, a live performance here and this with an orchestra this time. As again, as I said, Andre Kraut is very significant in the world of music and to, to have him sing this song with an orchestra is pretty, pretty amazing. In fact, uh, The Promise, interestingly, um, came off the 2011 album, The Journey. Now, Andre did leave us in 2015, so this is getting near the end of his life. So something a bit poignant about this clip as well. Almost looking back and, and remembering and thinking and seeing. Um, we then go to That's Why, That's Why I Need You. This came off the album finally from 1982. And I think, again, the fact that I'm loved, that's why I need God more than anybody else. I mean, if someone else comes along, that's going to be awesome and amazing. But, you know, I'm pretty good as I am, and that's the best thing I can do uh, going forward. So that's what I need you. We've got a live clip on that one. Now, one of the songs that Andre Krauts is known for is my tribute, or in brackets, to God be the glory. Uh, this came off the 1972 album, Keep On Singing. Now, um, this is his signature tune, this one. It's all about... Who gets the credit for stuff? And he doesn't think he deserves the credit. Someone a lot bigger than him deserves the credit. Um, the great thing about that is that it comes back to you anyway. And so to actually see this guy singing one of the songs, one of the gospel songs of all time, is pretty, pretty compelling. So we've got a live version of my tribute. Now, Andre Crouch, um, absolutely soul and blues influence in there as well. Between 1968 and 2011, how long 
is that career. 39, 50 year career right there. 17 studio albums, 19 compilations, and many, many appearances and collaborations. Um, Andre Crouch has received seven Grammy Awards. Seven, all right? This is the significance of this guy. Four Dove Awards. He's one of the few gospel artists that have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He's Oscar nominated for his work in The Color Purple. He's received the honorary doctorate from Berkeley University and has been inducted into the Christian Music Hall of Fame. So, well deserved for a guy who's been so influential in the world of gospel and has changed the world really in lots and lots of ways. And so it's good to be able to um, look at him today. So, um, as for you, um, how do you feel when you're in a house on your own? Do you feel like you're on your own? If you do, there's another, there's another way. If you feel like you need to talk about it a little bit more, yeah, feel free to um, uh, put a comment below or you know, reach out to me in other ways. Just look up Trevor Haley um, on the web and you'll find contact detail that way as well. So my encouragement to everyone today, as always, as I've shared some of my journey today, um, let's be gentle and kind with each other, hey, because everybody is battered and bruised at the moment gasping for breath a little bit and so when you meet someone somewhere just know that underneath the all togetherness that they may have on the top there's struggle going on and so this is the world we're in these days absolutely but there is hope as i hope i've been able to try to show you today well if you've come back for another one or this is your first time the life reflections through music thank you to everyone for coming back hanging around and all the rest of it I trust you've been encouraged today, as always. Well, that's it for today. Next time, we're going to go on to a person who's just left us, Gordon Lightfoot. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.